No one is open by multiple steps. Throwing into traffic here. Matt Smith unable to make the catch. In the first effort on the second, he could not come up with it. He thought maybe he got a fingertip underneath. It is now all four referees coming together. Integrity rule called. They're calling it. Look, apparently an integrity rule. Carolina calling it up. So this is going to be a spectacular goal from Matt Smith. We get the benefit of a second look. Monica with the backhand. And Matt Smith. That's so close. Jack Brown, a huge swing to the other side of the field. Can they pull it down? Not quite. And pull Taylor away. Martin rips it away, looking for Garrett Martin. And a, a huge <laughs> bid from Garrett Martin. He gets horizontal. He says, I am not giving this one up. <laughs> not in front of the home crowd. Not tonight. Written on his chest for his first two games, he had, hi, mom, hi, dad. I asked him today, <laughs> hi, girlfriend, we have this hi, time girlfriend. around. He saved it for the home game. They do not set up the double team yet. Maybe coming now. Scuba. Streaky scuba across the middle of the field. Oh! oh! Justin Was Allen he in? streaking in. Reads the play perfectly. That is a layout block. Callahan for Mr. Franchise himself. The scuba. Ooh, 19 player Pearson. We got there. Oh my God! Justin Allen, number one. That is a Callahan, ladies and gentlemen. With the score. With the Flyers up by three with 445. So Tatum now. We'll look on the far side. Clutton guarding on the mark right now. Wow. Far side trying to get that to curve in all the way back. And a perfect placement there. What a shot downfield. Quinn Finer, the completion for the goal. Yeah, not, not too bad for Fruit. I mean, basically the stall was about to be at seven. He didn't have a reset he liked. Nice to have that in your back pocket. I mean, talk about vision, just being able to set up, toss downfield, and hit it on the, mon on the money. And they go back to that side of the field. Disc hangs in the air. A greatest attempt, and another one if it counts. It counts. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> and I think we might have a Sports Center top 10 play right there. We might certainly have another Sports Center top 10 play. I was kind of taken back the second that that was thrown back on that assist. Oh my Lord. And Pouse and Tom Green playing the one two game and Pouse sends it up to Sam Ward. He's running for it, he's fast. He lays out, he makes a grab. And that's a break for the wind chill. And you gotta clap for that. Defensive line players out there. Nate Goff firing deep. But a beautiful diving play by number 23, Kyle Hankey. And Austin again will go on the attack. What uh, is increasingly being referred to as a unicorn in a city that won't stop growing, it seems like. Oh, and what? Beautiful a grab snack over the from top. <laughs> the oh. elevation. Twelve seconds to go. 
There's another big D. Cholich grabs it. David Cholich and the crowd erupts. Ah, oh, let's see that again. David Cholich with a Callahan. The kind of play ultimate players actually dream about doing. And he did it. Here it is. The pass, the tip, stays in pursuit. Boom, highlight reel, David Cholich. Ooh, tip, but it goes the lane. Shot goes up. Two seconds. <laughs> wow. That's off the Jen Jorgensen. Says no. I was like nose height. Wow. That is an ADL top 10 play for sure. If that does not make the highlight reel. And more importantly, he gets the disc off the line immediately. And then cross field, a floater. Barker, great is it back into the field. It's caught by Kaminsky, who flips it to the end zone for the score. Ross Barker's greatest keeps possession alive and ties the game at 22. And rightly so, Pavel Giannis is just standing and pointing in amazement at Barker's efforts because he bailed out the Union offense. That didn't need to be that difficult. That was almost another unforced error, and you could see the appreciation right away. One of the rarest, most special plays in Ultimate. And three years ago, Ian, the game basically came down between Minnesota and Chicago to an unsuccessful greatest attempted by Pavel Giannis on the shot off the sideline. Davis breaks out and a little miscommunication between him and Shepard, but now they combine for a couple of quick passes and we know what Shepard wants to do. And that's to throw a scuba across the field to his buddy and fellow Burrow boy. Steve, the corn-fed mule McGilski. Reed Duncan runs out on the field to help him celebrate. If they can find him. And here's Brian Vanoka. He'll send it deep down field, and it is not caught. Flipped into the end zone. Touched and caught by the cork. What in the wide world was that? I think that's what you call a double greatest attempt right there. What in the wide world was that? That is the most ridiculous circus play I've ever seen from the Minnesota Windchill. Are you kidding me? Let's yeah. take another look at this. Vinoka sends it deep. Bergmeier flips it after it's been deflected into the towards the end zone. Marty Adams touches it and then taps it to Dylan DeClerc. Inconceivable. Ryan lets it rip. Greg Martin, Musa Ja. Ja got the block. Incredible positioning by Ja. The ability to get around Greg Martin, know exactly where to go first. Martin had this lined up. He could have done the same thing, but Ja, expert. Merriman with a laser. Luke Rafis, can he get there? Rafis. Inbounds. DC fired up. We haven't heard much from AJ Merriman, but he speaks loudly with this one. After the great play by Ja, you have Merriman uncork it. You know, Daryl Staley likes to walk it in, but I think he'll be okay with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Rushmeyer Bailey gets it to Yacht underneath. 12 seconds to go. Are the Empire going back to championship weekend or are we going to overtime? Jack Williams with three. 
Williams goes across the field. It's a jump ball to decide the game. And it comes down in the hands of Ben Yacht, who catches the winner on his 30th birthday to send New York to the Final Four. You almost can't believe the story because it felt so possible and inevitable, but New York 19, DC 18, the Empire perfect by the skin of their teeth. in this battle. Here we go, and it's hand blocked by Randolph. Oh my, 10 seconds left for Randolph and the Empire. JR rips a deep backhand. Ben Yacht looming along with Fisher. It's shy of the end zone, Yacht skies. And did he beat the buzzer with a throw? Marquez Brownlee has the goal with no time left. And New York takes a three goal lead. What a sequence from the red zone for Carolina to the jump ball and Yacht picking up where he left off last week and then has the intelligence to get it into the end zone quickly. High release forehand, Brownlee all alone and that is a massive, massive break to make it 5-2. You can't overstate how massive that is. Check out the defense from JR. 